Hey everybody, it's Drumstick Gaming, and welcome you to Wellspring Cave. Um, no, welcome you back to more Pokemon Black version. In the last episode, we, um, I think we challenged Sharon to be the Team Plasma Grunts in the Wellspring Cave. This episode, um, after about a few trainers off screen, uh, I'm going to be going over the bios and the Wellspring Cave and probably continuing further down with through, like I said, in the last episode. So, let's just start walking to that item and probably encounter something. Um. Then we got the TM50. Good lord! Or anything. <laughs> I just want to test. Like, wow. Oh my. Good. Wow. I must have started running. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course, the second that I start running. Okay. Had to burp there. Um, but, this is Raganmoa. Raganmoa is, as you guessed, a rock type. Um, it has some really good attack and defense, um, and stuff, but pretty slow speed. That's alright, it's pretty powerful and pretty defensive and stuff. I mean, special defense isn't, like, amazing like its defense is, but, um, yeah. Good special attack is horrible, just like it should be. Um, it evolves into Boldor, <laughs> more puns, uh, at level 25, and then you have to trade before you evolve it, which means you can fully have its final evolution Gigalith by level 25, which has a lot of power. Trust me, I've, I've tried it. I tried it in my Black Nuts Uh, but, uh, so. Hopefully we'll start running around and find another Pokemon. Yeah, Rock and Roll is pretty good at both. But there's some, a bunch of other Pokemon. There's a few other Pokemon with a Rock Dual type, which can be pretty good themselves. So. <clears throat> but I guess it might not be too shabby if you want, like, just a Rock type. You can run, like, ground move, though. Called Bulldoze, but we'll get into that a bit later. Um, so, anyway, this is Wubat. Wubat is a psychic and flying type. Um, and it's that's not really that great. I mean, yes, it has some pretty cool attacks at this point in the game, like flying and psychic are pretty cool in themselves, but it's that's just really not great, even after it evolves, except for, say, speed. I mean, it's pretty speedy in even Wubat's one, but I don't think, from what I remember, I think it's like special attack. The stat it uses is only like 76 or 77 or something like that. So, this thing doesn't really do damage. I mean, damage. I mean, granted, it can flinch pretty well with moves like Ear Slash and its signature move Hard Stamp. Because it's so fast, because you, you can fl only flinch slow Pokemon and all. But it's just not really accurate, and there's no psychic flying type uh, coming up a little later on that is much better than that, trust me. So, if you want a screw bat, you probably need to go with the better option that's coming later, just trust me. Oh, and one more thing about screw bat. About Wu Bat, to evolve it to its second evolution and its only evolution, you need to evolve it through happiness, which, um, you can train it well, evolve around its, like, around, like, level 25 or so. Mine evolved when I first used it in my first playthrough. I didn't know it sucked. Please forgive me. Um, evolved at, like, level 22, 23. I don't know. But, but basically, to raise fr friendship, oh, wait, that's a good move on, Puzzle. Um, Basically, to raise friendship, you have to keep it in your 
party, walk around a lot, uh, win battles with it. I think gym leaders increase it more than winning it with gym leader. Increase it more than like a regular battle and stuff. From what like, the black and white guide tells me how to guide. But, uh, it's just kind of not like faint and stuff like that. You gotta just, yeah, basically stuff like that. Just walk around it, did it not let it faint, etc. I'm gonna go back to heal really quick. Oh, and by the way, this is the daycare where you can breed and stuff. I don't really know that much about it. So, I mean, not now you can breed. Get in the door. God. Oh, wait. I just remembered. There's another Pokemon in the in, uh, Osplin Key that I forgot about because I was too busy talking about <laughs> Uragi and Mole and Rubat. But when I get back to number three, I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, I don't know. But <sighs> this Pokemon is going to take a while to encounter. So I'm going to use a pile and because it appears some like special thing called a phenomena. Uh, uh, which is a dust club. But uh, while I was uh, at the Pokemon in Striden, I did buy a few things. I bought some pills, bought like a great ball, uh, bought like 10 super potions. Really good, they restore. If you have 50 points about Four paralyzed heals to make it to five. Uh, four more antidotes to make it to five as well. And yeah, that's about it. But since it appears from Dust Cloud and that appears by just randomly walking around, I will see you guys in a second. So, hold on.